everybody and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the serious dedication badge in Cook Burgers. Uh, it is the most recent badge that was added. So this one is really hard to get. I guess you can also wear the trophy like a hat too. Uh, the hat ability gives you one dollar every 50 seconds which is pretty insignificant by the time that you're gonna be able to get it. But I'll just wear it uh, during this video because why not? Here, the bonuses periodically gives money, and now I'll show you how to get it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is we're going to grab a plate and put a bottom bun on it. Now, bring that out here and put it on the burger or meter and activate the lever and it will rise up. So now there are a couple things that uh, we're going to want to do to get this. So basically what we want to do, uh, our final product is going to be a burger that is 103 meters long. And the way we're going to do that is by t uh, stacking baguettes on top of each other until we get it. So what we're going to do is we are going to get a uh, one of the new boxes. These were actually just added the other day. They are expensive or more expensive than the other one and they can store 12 items uh, as opposed to just the 5 that the other one was able to get oh no they were just nerfed uh, now, now they're 8 whoop lag alright so now that we get that we're gonna go look how much baguettes cost because I forget they cost let's see three dollars so uh, 8 times 3 is 24 so we're gonna grab 24 dollars really fast put it in our box one two wow that was painful I couldn't have just gotten a four okay now that we've got all of our money I'm going to go drag our box into the uh, bread store here and we're just gonna buy as many baguettes as possible one thing that I did want to point out if your money disappears like that, don't let go like I did, or else it will be gone. I'm having a bit of uh, a little bit of technical difficulties right here. I'll be right back. All right, so I have uh, finally successfully purchased a baguette. So now what you're gonna want to do is make sure that your box is empty. We don't want our money in here anymore. Now we're gonna uh, start putting our baguettes in here. So. Uh, this it does take a little bit, but this is nothing compared to what we're going to do with them later. Now just keep uh, going until your entire box is entirely filled with baguettes. I will be right back with you when I'm done doing that. All right, when you're done doing that, now we're going to take this box, box sorry, uh, down back to where we put that bun earlier. Then what we're going to do is we're going to stack the baguettes on top of each other for the maximum possible height. But the way we do that is a little bit backwards, so uh, let me show you. So the first, uh, the first way I always do it when I do this, I put the first one horizontally like you would a normal ingredient. It seems counterintuitive, but you'll see why in a second. So now we're gonna want to orient this so it's vertical like this. You can do that by pushing it up against walls and stuff. And then you don't want to make sure it doesn't spin like that, or else you'll have to redo it. And it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world to orient these. So you want to make sure that you only have to do it once. After you get it to stop spinning, then go and put it on your other baguette. Now, the best way to do that is not end to end, uh, which is why we aren't doing, or the, which is why uh, we put this one kind of uh, horizontal, or the first one kind of horizontal like that. But when we attach them uh, like that, then it's much easier. So now, after we get to the higher levels, uh, we're gonna have to be up here on this ladder, and so this is significantly easier with the X27 prototype So I would definitely recommend using it if you have it, but we're just going to slowly Add uh, baguettes onto our burger and the best way to do that is Just try slowly Pushing them together then sometimes they won't connect which is why we're not doing it end to end because they won't connect if you do that. The hitbox is a little bit off uh, of the actual model. 
So, right, that's kind of, kind of a given, but still. We're going to continue to orient these up. And now, uh, if you try to do it without having that first one horizontal, or you try to do them not end-to-end, -end, you will see that it is significantly harder to do that. So just keep gently touching them together like this. If you might have to reorient it multiple times, and that's okay. And it doesn't have to be straight up either. They can be a little bit uh, lopsided. And also, because the hitbox is not on the top, you can actually reorient them on the baguettes themselves. And sometimes they'll spin back and hit the baguette and latch on like you just saw me do there. Now you're just wanna keep, gonna want to keep doing that until this height is 103 meters. It might, uh, yeah, and then you will be granted the badge, and along the way you will unlock notes. I'm not going to give away what they are. You can discover them for yourself, or you can go look on the wiki if you don't want to do that. Um, that's pretty much it. You just keep going up until 103 meters. And another thing to note is, um, this isn't something that you need to know if you're actually building the burger, but if you're trying to, uh, like, after you're at the higher levels, if you want to try to item hop, up. That can be a little bit difficult. You do have to make sure that you're right under the thing because obviously the uh, world border or the height cap that you can't go above the invisible border above us is a lot smaller than 103 meters. So you, uh, but there is actually a hole in it that is specifically intended for building the burger. So if you are going to item hop up, you do have to make sure that uh, you are right by the right by the place you're building it or else you're going to hit this wall and also when you're falling down uh you might sometimes land up here on the um uh, on this border here so which can slow you down if you're just trying to get down quickly so again when you're falling try to fall as close as you can to this pad and that's pretty much it thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe generally i don't ask that but this this video is uh it, it took a long time to figure out how to do it so uh bye